And Bears, our next speaker is going to be Mr. Ryan Mackley. Wait. Wait a minute. Mackley? That sounds familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, that's Bambi's dad. Where are you at? <laughs> oh, there you he hey. Okay. Mr. Mackley is an RHS graduate. Some of us may know him as number one, but that was just his jersey number in high school. Thanks for being here. And actually, Mr. Mackley is operator and owner of Align Multimedia. And all jokes set aside, he's a true artist. Thank you for being here. So I am the, uh, the, the owner of Align Multimedia. I'm also Bambi's dad, I'm, I'm proud. Where is Bambi? <laughs> there he is. Um, I'm the owner of Align Multimedia here in Rifle. We do web development, we do video production, uh, a lot of online marketing. So you know the annoying ads, like you go to a website and you look for, at a pair of shoes or something, and then every other website you go to, the same pair of shoes comes up? That's people like me that do that. So you have, <laughs> you have me to thank for that. Um, so it's been a long journey to get to where I am now, um, but it really started at Rifle High School, honestly, Rifle Middle School of all places. Um, back in the day, I played football, and the, my favorite thing to do was have my mom film, and she would film on the giant VHS tapes. I'm, I don't even know if you guys have ever even seen the, the big, old, yeah, you've seen, okay, whew, not that old. So the giant VHS tape, she would film with this camcorder like on her shoulder that was bigger than she was. And then she we would come home and I would, I would edit highlights. I'd put one tape in one VCR and another tape in another VCR and I'd hit play over here and record over here. And then I would get a, a tape, an audio tape player and get some songs that I had probably recorded off the radio and overlay that on top of the, it, it was crazy, right? It was stupid. It was time consuming. And now you jerks <laughs> can do all of that like right here. And it's really pretty annoying. I would have been pretty ticked off had I known at that time how far we would go in such a short amount of time. But I got my start doing that at Rifle Middle School, but that's, I didn't really think that would be a career path for me. It, it, I, didn't, I didn't see that as something that I could actually get money for, and I don't know why. I mean, there is a television industry and a film industry. I don't know why I didn't really see that as a possibility. I think sometimes when you're in a rural area like ours, you um, you kind of limit yourself. You, you start thinking about walls and barriers. Um, you put those up in your mind as far as things that you can do and you can't do. You might really want to have a career in the film industry, but you go, I, I, I'm from Rifle, Colorado. I can't do that. Well, it's, that's not really the case. Um, because I'll, I'll tell you how the, my career pro progressed from then, from there. So I graduated Rifle High School in 1993, went to the University of Colorado in Boulder and got a degree in history and political science because I thought I was gonna do the very responsible thing and become an attorney uh, and maybe at some day get into politics. I really thought that would be kind of a cool thing to do. And so I went to the University of Colorado Boulder and got that degree and did uh, some mock trial and also interned with um, the Speaker of the House at the time, Russell George, who's from Rifle and quickly figured out that I do, did not want to be an attorney or a politician. I saw, you know, I saw Russ George and the things he went through and um, you, know, you talk about politics today and how terrible it is. It was pretty terrible back then too. And I thought, you know, I don't want to do that. Um, but so I didn't know what I wanted to do. And so I graduated from college and my wife's an actress, or was an actress at that point in time, she, you know, Bambi will say she, she can get pretty dramatic at other times too. Sorry, Katie, if you're anywhere. No, she's not, she's not here. So he, she, um, she wanted to go try the Hollywood thing. And I thought, okay, I'll go, I'll go do that. LA sounds cool. Um, I'll go out there and, and try to figure this out. So we moved to LA from Rifle, Colorado to LA. And um, it was a culture shock and we had to, to figure a lot of things out, but we did it. We got it figured out. And um, what I figured out for myself was that, holy cow, this thing that I loved when I was in middle school could actually work as a career path. I got a job 
at a place called Digital Entertainment Network, which is infamous as being the, you know, there was what was called the dot-com boom and bust in the early 2000s, late, late 90s, early 2000s. And there was all these companies with all of these, this money. And they, uh, a bunch of them got really big and then just blew up. And I knew the first day I was there, I was like, this isn't gonna last very long, but it's really friggin' cool. And it ended up that the, the technology we developed is the same technology that's in YouTube right now. So it's the, it was kind of that same code got, once that company went out of business, got ported to YouTube. So it was pretty cool being a part of the early, um, the early, early, uh, you know, part of the web and video on the web. So from there, um, of course that didn't work out. The dot-com bubble burst and Bambi came along and <laughs> So we decided to move back to Rifle. And so what I'd encourage all of you to, to think about is we went out, right? We, we didn't stay here. We went out and we explored and we did some things. We found some cool things. We, we found out a lot about ourselves. But then we decided to come back here. And that's what I encourage. I know there's probably half of you here that are like, I don't want to leave. I don't want to get out of here. I just want to stay around here, right? And then there's probably another half of you going, get me out of rifle, right? So both of you are right. You know, I, I, I think this is a great place to be and live. What I'd encourage you to do is get out there and explore, uh, figure out what it is that you want to do, and then come back and, and give back to the community that gave you so much. So that's all I really have. Um, thanks, guys, for listening. And sorry, Bambi.